All right. Is everybody ready to return to Crash? We're going back to uh, the next canonical game in the in the deeply deep lore filled Crash Bandicoot timeline. Let me just boot this up here. Oh, analog on. I uh, got a cool uh, window stack effect you get to see there. Oh, loud! Yeah? Is that right? Oh, I don't think that's the right window. Hold on. Just enjoy the corner of that there for now. Alright, let's see. There we go, that's better. No one wanted to see that intro, right? Right? Okay, good. Yeah. Loading. Okay. Crash. Team. Racing. The fourth Crash Bandicoot game to be made on the PlayStation. I don't know when, like, the handheld ones came about, but... Fourth mainline crash game, if you call it a mainline crash game, and the last one to be developed by Naughty Dog. So this was the kart racing game made by the same people as the original trilogy. What do we want to do? Oh, hold on, I gotta... Before we do anything else, you get, you get to see my web browser. We got. We got to get this. We got to make this happen. Where are you? Let's do this. Okay. Down. Right. Triangle. Down. Left. Triangle. Up. Hey. Remember cheat codes? I remember cheat codes. No. I. Can I, can I play game? Oh, uh, that doesn't seem right. Hey, Penta Penguin's here, by the way. That, that's who I just unlocked. Can't play him in an adventure, but, uh, okay, I gotta, well, shoot, I gotta rebind my controls, that's weird. Hang tight. Enjoy the, enjoy looking into the matrix. File. And I can't do that while it's running. I have to exit the whole uh, emulator. I wonder if there's a better PlayStation emulator. There's got to be several, right? I'm using uh, EPSXE is the one that I am uh, currently using. Don't mind me. Just setting some controls. Because I guess they weren't already... Done. Okay. Here we go, for reals this time. But hey, now we'll get to, uh, we'll get to see the intro. Oh, analog? Maybe. Hopefully. No, is it not? Start your engines for Sony Computer Entertainment America Productions. As in your seatbelt. Now it seems to have the wrong. Uh... Now it seems to have the wrong window. I'm I'm sorry about this, guys. EPSXE. Another fun thing about it is that uh, it does this fun thing where the executable itself has a separate window for it, and then it opens when you run a game. It opens that in a new window. No, we don't need a cursor. 
You guys get to see my cool OBS setup. Okay, and we're good to actually play the game now. Without Penta. Not that it matters. Again, I was just doing that for fun. Because we can't, uh, can't play Penta in, uh, in Adventure, which is what we're doing. We're going to play through the story mode of this game. Which, in which, we have eight characters. We have the two balanced guys. We have, a uh, Tiny, and I, a Tiny and Dingo Dial are the speed ones. Engine and Coco are Excel. And our last two are Polar and Pura. And... I think they're in pairs. I think they're basically identical. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Pura. Who is uh they also have difficulty rankings, or ranked as beginner character, but uh I remember always playing as Pura in this game as a wee bab. Because if I remember right, Polar and Pura had the cutest like uh, flag girl. That's my only reason. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. Oh, you can travel big mouth. around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. That's some wonky the mouth movement. It signifies they are open to play. To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track start line. Okay. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Is there a... And drive fast. Drive fast. Are you are, are you okay, Aku? Aku? Is that... There was some emulation error there, right? He, he didn't always, like, jitter and move his mouth that rapidly. Like, that, that was like Hong Kong dubbing. Just full... Mouth full open to mouth shut. There was no... No in-between. Okay, I gotta remember how to play this game. Since it's been a very long time. I didn't, uh, I don't actually return to karting games very often, so. Mario Kart or otherwise. I'm gonna have to relearn this as I go. I'm gonna assume, like, like other karting games of this era, and into today for most karting games, yeah, acceleration is the X button. Let's see, uh, circle is items and I don't remember how drifting works either I gotta figure that out this is uh one of the few actually the only only carding game off the top of my head okay we get a boost from jumping well, I was going to say one of the few karting games that uh, Mario Kart 8 did not uh, assimilate into the into the mass that is Mario Kart 8 of just me game mechanics. But it does the same uh, jump for boost thing that I don't know if it was in other Mario Karts before 8 because I haven't played most of them for a while. Okay, so... Getting another item crate while you have one doesn't upgrade the item. It does. It's not like Diddy Kong Racing. I don't know how you get the nitro. Oh, there's one more. I really should. Like there is some kind of drifting mechanic to get. Oh, I see it. So you drift for just the right amount of time and you get a boost. That's the bar on the bottom right. Is the boost bar. Yeah, you're sure are crash. Now, it's hard to talk about the game because I'm f so focused on trying to just figure it out again. Thank God, just the regular win the race AI opponents are a joke. Yeah, we just got Mario Kart 8 on the Switch. That uh, combines elements of classic Mario Kart. It combines 
some stuff from F-Zero, even mechanic-wise, not just the anti-grav. It has, uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing transformations. I think Transformed came out before Mario Kart 8. And, uh... Oh, what else? Even Diddy Kong Racing has elements from that. Hello! Oh, those eyes. They're so huge. Are they all, all... all There are four, like, flag girls for these ceremonies, for depending on which character you pick. And they all have names and, like, bios in the manual. Oh, should I get the manual out? I gotta I grab that. Tell me, talk to me, Aku. The more Wampa fruit you collect, the faster your card will go. If you collect and hold ten Wampa fruit, you'll be Here we go. Up, and your power up will become more potent. All right, it's got a got an ad for Spyro Two on the back of it. I'll look into that more when Aku starts talking again. Okay, so I need I need a key to go back to there for more stuff. There are different challenges on each level, but the main thing is uh main thing first is to just win a race there. So I will I will I will start by doing that. Oh, can I isn't this the boss? No? I know I think Ripperoo is the boss of the first world area place. But, uh, I guess we just... His level is just its own level at first. Okay, it's a... It's a little a little interesting, the startup boost mechanic. You gotta... Some, some precise timing. Okay, squares break. Don't want to do that any more than I have to. Uh... Oh, they suddenly got better. They're competitive now. And this also has the, uh... This seems to have the Wumpa Fruit slash banana slash coin mechanic. That I think was first in Diddy Kong Racing. In that you get more power-ups, you get more speed. Or, I don't know if it's more speed in this one. I think that's how you get the better versions of the weapons. Is that if you have a uh, 10 fruit... That's how you get, like, the Nitro instead of the TNT. Out of my way! Oh. This was also the first game that Coco had, like, uh, full voice lines. I wonder if she changed... I think. No, she talked... Never mind. She talked in her, in her very first game in Crash 2. This sounds like a different voice, though. From uh, Crash 2 Coco. Oh, I feel like I'm not... I feel like I'm not doing well. I still have not got this drifting down. And this very, uh... This drifting does not seem like, seem like it is uh, conducive to, say, snaking. Oh no! Oh! I think I braked by accident while doing- I think you slow down while trying to drift. No, this was not, uh... I didn't really have a favorite kart racing game until Mod Nation. I was just- I mean, I played a little bit of Mario Kart. I didn't grow up with it. My first big one was Double Dash, so I did not I did not get the hype of uh, you know Mario Kart 64. That's the big one for a lot of people. But uh, oh god, I keep drifting the wrong way. I want to go. Okay, I got to do a little. I got to land the full hop before I start turning in a drift. That's what's going on. Then okay, I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna I'm gonna make this happen. That's like a homing thing, that electric there. Ow. Oh 
Okay, tiny. I just need to... I'm not gonna win this. I just need to figure out the stupid... The drift boost. I need to make that happen. I might win this. It's gonna be tight. Top speed doesn't seem like it means much if I'm still competing with other characters as the slowest character. I gotta... It's it's very different from the mechanics of other uh, kart racers. I just gotta train my hands to do it again. I think what I need to do is when I have the boost, I need to let go of acceleration and press it down again. No? Was that not it? I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. I'm gonna figure this out. We're gonna keep going. No, but this was... I played a lot of this game... I, think, I can't even know... I don't even know if I can say if I played a lot of it. It's more that I was involved in the community for this game. And that's not... Not for any particular reason other than that. That's just where I guess I happened to fall in because where I found people active on it was Neo Seeker was the site that Road Rocket and I met on and we were using at the time do I need to let go of both what am I doing how how boost I'm I'm gonna have to read the manual I'm gonna have to go back to that Okay, so circle is items. You know what? Manual. Tell me how to do how do things. All right. Crash is crazed. Cart race. We also missed the uh, the story. I guess it doesn't automatically do that. You have to like wait on the title screen or something. Unlock the secret playable demo of Spyro 2: Ripto's Rage. Saving and loading. Battle mode. Oh, this game has a battle mode. No, I don't see a... Oh, I got, may, maybe I gotta buy the official strategy guide. Or call the, the hints and tips hotline. To learn how to do all the fancy things like drifting. No, I just see it mentioning stuff like uh, just the basics of getting through adventure, things like that. And battle mode, battle mode's here. Press and hold square or break to turn while turning to make tighter turns. Yep, Wumpa Fruit does make you faster. Oh, the L1 button. Okay, in interesting. So I want is that all the L1 button does? Is the it's just the drift boost? Uh-oh. Okay, yeah, that's uh a little a little odd. I'm glad I looked it up because I don't think I would have figured that out anytime soon. Yeah, it's the. Okay, so hit L1 when the meter's there. Interesting. I wonder if I have to do that for the start boost as well. Because I don't think I've been getting that. Yeah, I used to be much better at this game than I am now. Oh, I hit, just hit my own thing. Definitely a different crash from before. It's not as, not as high pitched. Oh, I can keep doing it multiple times in the same drift. 
All right, that, that's 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 pretty cool. I'm down for that. No, Road Rocket and I were very, were heavily involved in the Crash community on Neo Seeker, so that's where we spent a lot of time as youngins. That and eventually uh, Mario Kart DS. When that came out and I started playing that, I was pretty good at it and also involved in the Neo Seeker community. Okay, we got two things. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start that mouth movement though. If you react fast and hop It sounds like they splice the lines together too from like 50 different takes before it explodes. It doesn't sound continuous. And I think part of that might be the emulator, but part of it's also just the game. Okay, we've got two trophies. How many do we need before... Oh, here's, a, here's a level. Let's do this. Mystery Caves. It's a mystery. Now, I'm going to get to through this game. I'm not... Like I didn't with Crash 3. I'm not going to worry about Platinum Relics. I am going to try to... I am going to try to get everything else, though. Okay, yeah, I, did, I have to press L1 for the boost at the start as well. It's gonna take some getting used to. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm, ba I'm back in business. I'm back in the game. Oh, I had a shield and I just didn't use it. This does a lot of this does a lot of interesting stuff that I don't think Mario Kart uh, had done yet though. Like compar comparatively compared to this, Mario Kart 64 was pretty bare bones. I wonder if having a uh, high can high handling character has uh, fucked me a little bit. with these kinds of turns and things. Because I am turning very tightly, a little uncomfortably tightly. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Part of my brain is also still in Mario Kart 8 mode, so I gotta unlearn that at the same time. Until, of course, I stop playing this and go back to Mario Kart 8. We got the Switch and I've been going through the... Uh, I mean, I guess single player of that. There's not a campaign or anything. It's just, uh... It's just getting all the... All the Grand Prix on all the speeds. As it usually is in Mario Kart. They don't usually put a lot of focus on the uh, single player. Alright, that's, that's, how, that's how you do Drift Boost. I, I, I'm down with that. I, I, I have relearned. We can now excel. Oh, you can fire the shield. Okay, well now, now I'm just stupidly ahead of everyone else. Like, once I figured out the mechanics again, I'm t that's okay. This will get. This is the first world. It'll it'll get harder. I played this one and I played a uh, Crash Nitro Kart, which, if I remember right, is the seventh console Crash game. So I played up to that. I didn't play Crash Tag Team Racing. I heard good things about it. I've played Crash One through Three, CTR, Crash Bash, which we will get to. Wrath of Cortex was the sixth one, first platformer on the PS2. And Nitro Kart, in Twin Sanity I rented. I need to get Twin Sanity. I remember enjoying it. Despite it being a bit of a departure from the style, the previous style of Crash. Congratulations. You win a trophy. 
and I haven't played anything past that. Past that is where it gets weird with redesigns and things. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get. Oh, is that how it works? For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the R1 button. So it's not certain jumps like it is in Mario Kart. It's just however long you're in the air. It's hang time. Got it. Okay, I think we need one more. Uh, is this autosave? Is that going on? I hope so. It better. I want to. Uh, well, we mi we missed the introductory cutscene. We got to see that. We got we got to know why we're racing. It's lore is important. So let's hang out in the title screen for a minute. No, I remember back when I was competent in this game. Oh, this had to be when I was like 10 or something, 10 or 12. I was actually involved with, uh, like, competing for time trials and things like that with other people in the community. And again, it's not because I especially liked the game. I think it had more to do with Road Rocket liking it, so I just happened to meet him and then made some friends there and I just ended up sticking with uh, racing game communities. Oh, there was already a race happening. And then aliens. So you pesky slugs like to race, eh? Well, I, nitrous oxide, I'm the fastest racer in the galaxy. Good old long lasting villain here. Test my skills. It's a little game I call Survivor of the Fastest. Here's the way we play. I challenge the best driver of your world to a race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your miserable little rock alone. Yeah. I win. I'll turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my slaves. <laughs> Aren't you glad we witnessed that deep lore? So yeah, I guess there was already a race happening. They just, hey, let the gang gets together and has a friendly race every now and again. Cortex and Crash call a truce. And they just go kart racing. That's the it works in Mario Kart. Why not crash? And then aliens, which not. For one thing, it's oddly convenient that uh, N Oxide just magically slots into the villain naming scheme of this series of N Blank, N Cortex, N Gin, N Brio, N Tropy. But yeah, it's just, there's an alien dude. He wants to race us, and he'll be back for Crash Bash. Oh, what? It said, guys, it said zero. Does it not autosave? Really? Aku, you fuck! Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel. But, oh, wait, wait, is there... Do I, do I have to come up here? Is there a save point I have to drive to? I feel like I remember that, and I feel like I remember it sucking. Oh, no. You must have a boss key to open this door. Okay, that's cool. Where's the save? I need to know how save before I do anything else. To access this track, you must first collect the number of trophies required to turn on the warp pad. I did! Oh, here it is. Yep, so it's like... It's like Crash 3. This is the load save screen. Okay. There are five of these screens, one in each world section. When you want that to mouth movement. Save a game, go to it's like... To it's like a nervous tick. To the screen and stop. Then, I mean, they tried, but it's just so jittery and stilted. Ow. Just crash into it. That's how you how how use computer. Tiger use computer good. Okay, well at least I guess 
Can I? How do I? How go back? Oh no! I didn't want to. I already saved. Where's re oh? Just I. I have to press down on the on the D-pad is reverse. You, the brake is not reverse. Okay. Well, you'll get to see me race competently on uh, on the first track, I guess. I have to do it over again. Oh, nope, wrong way. Okay, here we go. Let's do this again. It's okay. This will be uh, this will be fast. I want to go for the second one, I guess. The third third one's not as big. Oh, whoops. Lost it. Oh. Second place, get a star. That's cool. I'm, I'm down for that. And a speed boost. This is more, uh... This game's much more generous with the items than uh, than uh, Mario Kart is was, I think. I don't know. Again, I have I don't think I've actually ever played Mario Kart 64 to any significant degree. I played it a little bit. A friend of mine had it, but I never did on the N64. I also didn't have a. I also only played Diddy Kong Racing through Osmosis. I never had that on my N64 as, as, a, as a kid. I got it later as an adult and tried it, and it didn't click with me, so I sold it back. But one of these days, I'll do a proper uh, Diddy Kong Racing stream. I feel like that's gonna be, that's gonna happen at some point, it's mandatory. Hello, Max. Thank you for joining us. Well, me. Jack's not, uh... Jack is off at work at the moment. So we're probably... It's probably just gonna be me, me streaming today. And, uh... I think he and I are gonna record a... A watch later. An another Thumbelina or something. I don't know. Congratulations. I did it. Yep. You're a cool mask. The more wampa fruit you collect. Good advice. It, it it does feel a little clunky having to complete the bounce before I can start drifting. That I need to get used to that again. Still gotta figure out that uh, that start boost. It's a still a little weird. Oh, Bandicoot power, okay. Too much speed. PSX is too high. Too high processing power. Coming 
It does feel really precise, this drifting. It's not easy. Okay, here we go. That's good. That's some air time. Oh! Coco, you bitch! Just leave. Leave me alone. Here we go. That's a boost. That's what I wanted. There we go. Yep, triple boost. Got it. Okay. That's done. I am back to where I was, I think. Did I do three levels or just the two? No, I did three, damn it. Yep, engine rattling in place. When you get a TNT crate on your head. On my what? Okay, come on, let's do the thing. Can't believe I needed a save manually. Here we go, mystery caves again. What moves the rock ramps? It's a mystery. We did, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this on sc on stream. I did figure out what... I did figure out how to stream the PS3. We do have a way to do it without needing to buy anything else. So... So that will be on for a future date. Again. I wonder if there are any hidden stats in this game. Like, uh, boost or something. Because Mario Kart 8 has that hidden. And I feel like I remember there might have been some hidden stats in this. But I'm not sure. I, th I checked the... I checked, like, the Crash Wiki as a reminder before I played this. Just in case, you know, the character choice is really significant. Oh, no, wall! This is not a good start. Crash, you... Ah! It's okay, I'm gonna do this. Nope, that was a bad drift. And they're just, they just throw that into the pit. I didn't need it. I hope that I can outrun uh, power-ups in this. I don't know if I can or not. Oh, that's good. I need that. Oh, that was a good drift. This is good. I needed it. Okay, I'm, I'm good now. I, I feel more secure about this race after that series of events. Still had no Wumpa Fruit, though. Needed that. And missed that one. It's okay. Oh, no. Someone's gaining. Who's behind me? Oh, it's Cortex. Ah, damn it. No, get hit. Okay, Crash. That's cool. Oh, how did that not hit me? Glad it didn't. Don't know how, but... Take what? You know, you take that. Yeah, Doe is right. Okay, we got this. I hope. I think. Please. Super shield. Got it. Okay. We're good. Back to where we were. Now we should save.
Always Cortex and Engine seem to be the rivals. Yeah. You can get a hang time turbo from the I wonder if that's after every single event. There's an Aku hint. <laughs> Alright. Progress has been made. Onward to Pipeland. Very original concept. I don't know how many streams this is going to take me. I haven't, uh... Obviously, that was a setback, having to redo levels, but, uh... I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go a normal, you know, two hours today. And we'll see if maybe we can get through two worlds. Maybe just one. Oh! Crash, you wanted that thing. Or Pura. Not Crash, I'm not Crash. I need that. Thank you. No! No! Did I, I dodged? How? Well, now I'm doing way better. Are there, Maybe there are just some tracks the AI sucks at. Maybe that's what's going on here. Can't be that I'm getting better. Certainly not. Certainly, certainly not. Oh, I'm not, I'm not picking good places to drift. some full wumps. I'm gonna take my wumps. There we go. If I can lap someone once before the end of this run through of just the whole time I'm streaming this game, I would be I would be happy with that. Does this run out is the question, or do I keep it until I get hit? The super variant. With the jump mechanic, though, this does play... In some ways, this does play very similarly to Mario Kart. Well, it's the recent... the God damn it. Mario Kart 8 specifically, which is the one I've been playing. So it's not as big a jump as one might think. Oh, no, I wanted to... Okay. Is that a world record? Am I the best yet? I wonder what a lot of the world records are in this game. If, like, character-wise, if a lot of them are, uh... The small characters or the bigger ones, or if there's even a significant difference. Obviously, they have different stats. Oh, good dialogue. Good, good dialogue. What was I just saying? Oh, right, world records. Because uh, Mario Kart 8 is now, as compared to Mario Kart DS, where the champions were the, the lightweights, the tiny guys like Toad and Dry Bones, because drifting was much more precise in the DS version. Purportedly because of the DS limitations of uh, not having like a, uh... oh right, he has like infinite TNT, I think. Of not having a joystick for one thing.
I'm sorry, I'm focused. There's a boss. I had to get serious. So, uh, the DS was much tighter... Much tighter drifting than, uh, console Mario Karts were. And I, I've heard the same is true of the 3DS one as well. So, as a result, I, I start playing Mario Kart 8, and, uh, there are a lot of world records, I guess, that are held by, uh, heavyweight characters, like Bowser and such, which is a departure from what, what I was talking about. And that's because, uh, I guess they actually made it so that because the drifting is not as tight, top speed matters more as a stat in Mario Kart 8. Because you can't just... You can't snake your way through every level. There are some areas you just don't get the drift boost. You only get it around proper turns. Where snaking was a big thing in Mario Kart DS. And F-Zero and a lot of more competitive racing games. So in that respect, Mario Kart 8 has been made more... Uh, more noob-friendly. More, more casual. You're crazier than me! Okay. Thanks, I think. New area. What do you got for me, Mask Man? Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck. Oh, that's it. Okay, good luck. No, go back. And we're not done here yet. Tiger, please. We gotta get the other stuff. We gotta get the tokens and shit. We gotta get, we gotta fight. We gotta unlock TT, the time trial clock. So I know that uh, Penta, you can only unlock by the use of that uh, code that I used at the start of the stream. And uh, in this version, in the US version, he is just another racer with the same stats as Polar and Pura. He's a little, you know, beginner acceleration and handling. He's a handling racer. But in all other versions, the Japanese and European, he has perfect stats. Uh, sure, CTR challenge. I gotta, we gotta get the tokens. Collect the letters C, T, and R on each track and come in first place to win a CTR token. Beware, some letters are hard to find. Okay. Uh, who else is unlockable? The bosses are all unlockable in this game. I don't remember what their stats are exactly, or if they're just versions of the existing characters. Entropy you can unlock by beating time trial ghosts. And uh, the only character who is just totally inaccessible except through through uh cheat hacking the game you know cheating devices things like that is uh nitrous oxide okay how do, how do i get that i need to i need to boost off of a ramp i think there's gonna be one on the ship there is indeed one on the ship there's there we go there's c I got a boost, that's good, I need that, I think. There's gonna be a dude here. Here we go. Oh. And I'm gonna have to gonna have to do a ramp for one of these guys. Oh, this guy right here. Oh god, that's way up there. How do I get that? Oh wait, I know. I think, maybe. I don't know, but. Oh, I get multiple bombs. I think I need to get up on the, like, mountain on the left and just drive across the bridge. Is that what I gotta do? Am I gonna have to puzzle this out? 
need... No, I can't get up there. Well, how the... Huh? So in order to get the token, you have to collect all the letters and get uh, first place. It's like the similar challenges in uh, Diddy Kong Racing. I just gotta figure out how to get that T. I don't remember. All right, well, here we go again. Is it, maybe it's just like, oh, may, maybe I need the, uh, the Wumpa charged boost. Maybe that'll get me high enough. So I'm gonna need to focus on getting them Wumpas, is what I need to do. There's the R. There's, there's some, there's five. I think those give you five at a time. Oh, I should have... Uh, I need to be getting these crates. Oh, no! That's not good. I got bombs. Oh, but I lost fruit from that. Okay, now it's just the T. Oh, I'm one short. That's uh, That takes some processing power. That, that clock power up. Okay, I got the boost. I just need the fruit. Need to get me some fruit. Here we go. Oh. Ow! Oh. That's the only... That's the only ramp. There's no other way to... Yeah, bandicoot power. That's the only way that you could conceivably get up there. Is that... That dune there. Maybe I was being presumptuous with uh, two worlds per stream. Like, it was just trophies, sure, but... Uh, if I'm getting the... In order to get the final ending, I think... Ow. Set, fuck off! I think you need all of the relics and... Uh, tokens as well. Actually, I think there's... There's also gems in this. There's like a... I think the gem races are like the Grand Prix in Mario Kart. You have to do four races in a row. Is how that works. Okay. So I got my turbo. I got what I need there. Oh, no! Okay. You can bounce the TNT off. Maybe I'm just, am I using it? Maybe I'm just using it too early is what's going on. Ow. That was disruptive. Was that a bomb? Good. Is that, I think that's the first time I've gotten a missile thus far. Ow. That's bad. I have to not fall so far behind that I can't get back into first either is the thing. I don't have the thing now. That's not enough speed. Ugh. <laughs> I wonder if the boosts stack. Can I, uh... Can I do a, a drift boost and that boost as well? Maybe that's part of it? that. Ow is right. Damn it. <laughs> Poor engine. It's just getting the shit end of the stick this race. Oh! Okay, well, sure, I'll use that, I guess. Whoa! 
get a star when I'm in like third place. Well, I don't think that's happening. Okay, lap three. Let's try again. Oh, I'm still missing the R as well. I don't need bombs, I need boosts. I guess it has to be more random than Mario Kart if they're expecting you to have certain items in order to get, like, jumps and things. Alright, boost, please. I need boost. Ow! Is that it? I need up! I need fly glitch. Is that a thing? Can I fly up there? I hope this is one of those situations where, uh, because this is the first level, they made it extra hard just to spite the people who thought, Oh, I'll just go to the first level and do those challenges. Those will be easy. It's the first level. Because, you know, games do that. And then the first level ends up being, like, having the harder completion, completion challenges than level 2 or 3 or any of those. Boost. No, boost. I need a boost. Give me a... Nitro. Ah. Well, now I'm just not getting the item I need. It doesn't even have to do with me trying to do the thing and failing. Fuck you, engine. I'm doing I'm doing my best. RNG is not with me. You know why. Oh, uh, okay. Boost. Ah! Aneurysming. Give me nitro! I need it! Hey! One shot! That's all I got! Ah, what? I didn't get any air at all! Maybe I just need to dedicate a, uh. Maybe I need to just dedicate a run to figuring out how to get that thing. And then I'll try actually doing it in a race after that. Go on. Go on, Coco. I'm not gonna stop you. Go ahead. You can have your fun. Nope, don't need bombs. I'll get me some Wumpa. Get me some... Thanks, Mask. I got it. Don't gotta tell me twice. Boost. No. Sick, sick under bridge route. Oh, that barrel did, that crate just kind of spawned in. Oh no, I lost Wumpa. Nope, don't need that. Just... I'm in last place and I can't even get a boost. Please? No? This race is going to end, and I'm not going to get a single boost. That's what's going to happen. Is this a sick joke? I, I got three masks. Hey! I get one try now. I have unlocked one attempt. 
I know. Ah! Here we go again. I just gotta confirm that this is the way to do it, so I'm not... I'm at least doing the right thing. No, now it's just... Now it's just sparkle electricity. Engine's mad that I'm not really racing. I am I I am ro I am wall I am roadblock. Shield and mask. You've never seen such power. Double mask. Hey. Oh, wait. It takes so long. It's so random just to get one boost. No, that's there's no way you get enough height from that. That can't be it. Wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. I just had a dumb idea. And I'm going to be mad if this is the answer. I'm going to be mad, but I think it's it. I need to get okay, item crates. I need to get another item. I don't think there's a DNF timer. I don't think they'll finish and then I have to Go on, crate. Come back. No, now I don't need the boost. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try the shield. I'm gonna use that. Wrong way. Okay, here we go. I think you have to shoot it. Maybe a missile or a bomb. I don't want that. Okay, let's try a bomb. Will a bomb work? I know, Mask Man. Bomb will not work. What if I need to jump and fire it? Would it get that technical? By the way, Nitrous Oxide himself has perfect stats. So, uh, that's gonna be fun to race against. Okay, missiles, here we go. I'm gonna try jumping as well, just just to cover all bases. I'm I'm so lost. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm gonna have to come back to this game, to this level. I am I am clueless about that T. What's this? What is this? Skull Rock. Oh, that's gonna be like a is that gonna be like a battle mode minigame? What's this? Collect every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. Okay. If you can get them all, you will win a prize. So this is a Diddy Kong Racing style minigame, I guess. Except I'm not ferrying dinosaur eggs into a nest or anything. Okay, so I just gotta... Okay, collect the crystals. Are there people shooting at me or something, or am I all by myself? Are there gonna be any, like, uh... That's... that. I like how that tiki mask is, like, floating. Okay, I have to jump to that one. 
That was a much more reasonable jump than the T would conceivably be, though. Ow. Oh no, there's a there's a jump. Of some some variety. Some some manner of jump. Oh, it's a, it's another this jump. I can do that. I think. Is it? No? How do I get over there? I have to jump on one of the hills. It's gonna come down to that that stupid jump one. Oh, there's two left? Oh no! Well, there's down here. I gotta, okay, I got six seconds. I gotta do this. Yes! Okay. That's done. I get, hey, I got one token. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to look that up and come back for that token. I can still do the relics, at least. I can get those done. I don't know if the CTR tokens are mandatory for the full ending or not. I think... Pretty sure the relics are. Get the lowest time you can by racing fast and breaking time crates. Each time... Yep, I time trial, I got it. I did see this in the, uh... Like on the wiki or in the manual or something when I was looking that up, is, uh... I forgot that it has time crates like many other racing games do, but if you get all the all of them in the level, you get an automatic 10 seconds off. And I failed the boost start there. And again, that's okay. Who needs boost, right? Oh, what? Oh! Oh, there's a ramp in the water! But why is there a ramp in the water? That's dumb. Okay, well, I, hey, I know how to get the T now. That's neat. Oh, there was, was there a crate off the side there? I'm gonna go for a chicken sandwich. Aber, aber probe of nothing. This is, uh, if, if I somehow succeed at this, this is a much slower uh, time trial than uh, most games, I would say. It's really just getting all the crates. This is more akin to the gems in the original game. Ow! Well, I don't get any boost upgrades or anything. I just need to make that jump. That's gonna be rough. It's gonna be a little demanding. I can't imagine try the, having the the drifting feels so imprecise in this game. I can't imagine doing the drifting and getting all these crates. I can't imagine having being able to aim the drift. Got it. Oh, how how? I mu I need the hang time boost. I must. So this. I guess it could happen. I'm on the last lap, but it's gonna be tight if it does. There's a there's a thing down there. Ugh. Come on, you can do it. No, you can't do it. It's not gonna. Oh, 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 oh! Point oh four seconds. A frame. Well, I didn't get all the crates, but, I mean, that's okay. The more important thing is that I know how to do the stupid token race now. Hey, I beat Dingo. That was a dude on the, uh, on the crash forums. There was a dude named Dingo Steinberg, I think it was. No, I, d I didn't mean to retry, actually. I don't want to do another time trial. I'm okay with Sapphire. You just need to get all the relics to get the... The final ending, not all platinum. Thank God. So I, I, I don't want to spend time doing that. Cool. You can go faster through turns by 
power sliding. Oh, you mean drifting? I am I am a stranger to this strange mechanic. Tell me more. I do like the attempt at a campaign mode between this and uh, Diddy Kong Racing. It's nice to have like an overworld you can drive around in. That was I always thought that was neat. Something that uh, Mario Kart lacked. Okay, so I, I gotta get that T. Man, I'm just I'm not getting the that down anymore. Okay, got my Wumpa. Sorry, Coco. I like you, but this is a race. You know what? I'll bet he'll do. I'll, I'll save him. I'll use the mask for that jump. That's what I'll. That's what I'll do. Get some boosts. You'll catch up. I better not lose this mask. I better not get hit by something and lose it. That would suck. Here we go, indeed. Hey! Ah! Uh, hey! I want to explore this. Is there anything here? Nah, it's just it's just decoration. I was curious. That's okay. I can st I can still manage this. So the uh, the base version of that is the red shell, and the powered up version is the is the spiny shell the incarnation from uh i think it was in mar it was in mario kart 64 was the red the spiny shell that hit everyone up to first not just first right i think that was because they d couldn't figure out the technology to have it skip everyone else so that's okay that that's how you take that shortcut that makes sense That's gonna ruin someone's day. All right, that's better. Yeah, the the jump was just hidden in the water. Who'd have thunk? I don't know. I I had just assumed that going in the water would uh, slow me down. I don't know if it does that or not. Okay, time to save. It's looking like with all of the all of the tokens and relics. It'll probably come down to one, about one stream per world, I'm gonna guess. And I think there are, there are four worlds total, so. Nope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna anticipate like four, four CTR streams. Maybe, maybe five. I don't remember how many, uh, I don't remember how many Crash 3 took me. It was more than that. I remember Crash 2, I, I blazed through. That was only two streams, because I know that game so infinitely well. Compared to the likes of this, or even Crash 3. Ow, oh, I'll get the timing, I'll get it. I'll find the right spot to start. There's the C. R. Okay, where did I pass the T? Or are they just scattered in random order? I think I know where the T is. It's weird for it to be after the others, is all. There you are. So that's a shortcut if you have the boost for it. I remember that, I just never had the boost the last time I played this level. You know what game I remember the racing being a, uh, a pain for? Is, uh, Jack 2. 
the vehicle races in that game were pretty, pretty tricky. Pretty tricky to get the, the, like, full guaranteed win out of. Granted, the racing was also not as fleshed out as a proper racing game like this. Much like... Much like the motorcycle levels in Crash Warped, which were not nearly as fleshed out as this is. And were also very painful at times. I need to get him. Do I get it? Yeah! Got him. No. 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 Engine, you fuck. Engine, you fuck. Get out of the way. Drift! I'm not, I'm not drifting as well as I have been. Okay, I, I squeezed it out. That's a token got. Take care of the relic. I got two more tokens, two more relics, I think. Oh, and just beep, 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 beep. There we go. Relic race. I guess we should see the, uh, the incomplete ending before the full one, though, so I'll have to remember not to... I'll have to remember to, to race Nitrus once. Here! We got it! Race him and beat him once before getting absolutely everything. Oh, got it. Okay. Oh, there's so many crates on this one, I can't really afford to drift. Oh, is there one on top? Where's that at? I should probably be doing this in more of an order as well. Oh, God! That's a lot of crates. And there are none over here. I'm not gonna, not gonna eat that dirt. Oh, that cluster. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to plan paths through there. I'm gonna start by hugging the left side. I'm gonna just go from the left, nope. Go from the left onward. There we go. It's a little bit precise, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it down. Oh, I got that on my first try. I'm having so much trouble now. It must be a very precise time that you have to jump on the lip to get maximum error. No. I didn't drift last time, I don't think. I couldn't have had a boost. That's definitely going to be the hardest crate, though. That guy sitting up there. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really early. There's definitely... Definitely a better way to do this. Definitely able to, uh... Actually drift through this and get the crates. But I am no longer that skilled. So that will not be happening. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do my best to drive through and get them all. And get that 10 seconds off. No! Well, there goes the 10 second bonus. That's not happening. I guess I'll, I'll just keep going. I'll see how close I get. Might be able to still pull it off. I really don't feel like I'm in very good control while drifting is the thing. Which I guess is realistic, but it's much it feels much more fluid in pretty much any incarnation of well I don't know about any incarnation of Mario Kart. The drifting on bikes in Mario Kart 8 can be really wonky, and uh, I remember Double Dash 
felt very slippery. DS was really the only uh, Mario Kart whose drifting I liked. And that was because uh, Nintendo had to... They felt they had to do that for the DS's controls. It wasn't a choice to make the game, you know, more competitive or tight or anything. Oh, that's a shame. I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to get all of the things at least once. Like, that's gonna be mandatory for any Platinum time, obviously, is getting all the, bo all the crates. But, oh, those jumps were very precise. High score world record! Oh, by the way, pinstripes in this game, just... Spoiler! Oh, no, I don't want to retry by default. Exit to map. There we go. Yep. That's not... Well, it's skippable, but you can't... Has to automatically go to the flag ceremony after every event. To get a turbo boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then, press it. That's a good sign. Black smoke, right? Universally a good sign about your motor. Okay. So I just did there. On to the mystery caves. A lot of caves in this first area. I think I remember my favorite looking level in this game being the one that you race pinstripe on. It has to do with, uh, there's a, like a blimp on it or something. the R. I missed that extra side path there. I hope there wasn't a letter on that. Okay. I'm gonna go right first, and then I'll take left next time. Yeah, I get burned. Ow! Oh! And I didn't get the letter either. Okay, well, I know where the C is. I'm gonna guess the T is probably on that bonus path. Oh, no, it's just it's just sitting out in plain sight right up here. Interesting spot. I'll take it. Mate. Crookie. Oh, no. Oh, you bastard. They play like players. No. No! I need, I need to be first. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No, I can't use it! I can't use it if the TNT's already on me. I have to get the TNT off first. There's good timing for this guy, though, because now I can get the C without interference. Okay, that's, that's good. That, that was a good chain of events. Ah, oh, I need that. I need that Wumpa. Don't take my Wumpa. I like Coco's voice in this game. I mean, I like her. I like her voice in the in Crash Two and Three as well. Actually, I don't. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't think Coco's ever had a a bad voice, like many video game characters have. I've just, I've spent this whole race without Wumpa. Am amazing that I'm hanging on. Coco, no! Coco, you get out of here. You're not gonna take this from me. This is a Tigers game. Come on. Come on, Pura. Is it Pura? Pura? I mean, it originated in China. I mean, like, in, in Japanese it would be Pura, but I don't, I, I, don't, I don't know. 
I've always said Pura, but I've never heard it pronounced out loud, so. By the way, one of the unlockable characters, I don't remember how. I think it's from getting all of something, all of the relics or something. You get a fake Crash, which, if you're not familiar with the Crash franchise, and really, it was Naughty Dog's joke, Crash was... I don't know if the in-game sprites were redesigned in Japan, or if it's just uh, like they had mascot suits walking around, and they looked really wonky compared to American Crash. So this Japanese design of Crash came to be known amidst Naughty Dog members as fake... Oh, okay, I got it, good. As fake Crash, and they started like hiding him in games here and there. I think... He did make a cameo somehow in Crash Warped. But uh, he is, like, s straight up playable in this game as a secret character. And for whatever reason, he is aligned as evil. Despite canonically just being a derpy Crash. That's all he is. He's not, like, good or evil, per se. There is an evil Crash later on. As well as some, like, Shadow Dark Crash or some other... Cr Crash took the Sonic route and had uh, all sorts of variations of Crash at some point in history. They decided to start doing that. Oh, I hope there aren't any... Oh, I shouldn't have drifted. Drifting bad in time trial. I mean, it's not bad, but drifting I am not good enough for in time trial. Oh, well, there goes that. I guess if I really wanted to, I could slow down and get both of them. It's an option. Okay, I gotta get the left at the fireballs. Ow! Oh! I'm just, I'm not good at this. That's, that's the conclusion I'm coming to. I'm not good at getting all these crates on my first attempt, and I really don't want to take multiple attempts at these levels. If I can possibly help it. Okay, middle one next time. Oh, that eats up some uh, acceleration going off track like that. Forty. Ten left. There might not be any on that side route. It'd be nice if there weren't, because it sucks to go off-road as we just witnessed. No. Okay. I didn't get all of them. Missed at least one. Let me go on left here. If I can. And I'm going to be staying left if I can. Oh, no. It doesn't matter. I missed one there, too. Okay. Well. I should still make it. Not gonna be perfect. Oh, I wanna get a perfect, though. Preferably in this video. Maybe I can get one on the last level. I, I keep... I'm just getting just short of the Sapphire Times, which are very generous. Much like in Crash 3. They were usually very generous. Mmm. Damn, I don't want to retry by default. I think I might have gotten all the all platinums in this game at some point in time. I never did in Crash 3 or Crash Bash, but I think I did in this game. To get around a tight turn or to face a direction quickly, use the brake slide by pressing. Pressing square. Yes, sir. I mean, I guess I would have had to to be competing for, uh, not necessarily, not world records, but community records with, you know, other players of the game, so. What percent are we at? Are we going to be at, uh, like, 25% after we get everything in this world? Because that'd be nice. I think the number of levels is consistent. I think it's... Just a hard four per area. 
plus the extra, <clears throat> like, arena challenge that was the Skull Rock place here. And boss level, obviously. I think there might be... A, I think there's a second boss race after we get all the CTR tokens in an area. <clears throat> Let's find out. Okay, so I'm taking the right path first. Oh! Oh, there's a... There's an extra sneaky hidden path. I saw that T there. There's the R. Now I just gotta find the C. Oh! Is that another hidden path? Do I have to jump up there? Because that'd be... That'd be bad. I would need a... Oh, there's the C. Okay. So they should... They look like they're all accounted for. I think. That, wow, this path... This path had, or this track has a lot of uh, secret routes, it looks like. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Got it. Oh, that's, that's barely a, a side path at all. No, no, no! God damn it. Ah. Get hit. No, not me. TR. Tur. Okay, gotta get that C. I'm not drifting. I should be drifting. Now. I got all the uh got all the letters, so now I'm just racing. We should be good. These guys are not They're fairly competent AI, but they're not uh not they're not set to hard. I'm sure their difficulty will change as the worlds progress. At least I think so. Oh, that's right. You can uh, start another. You can start another hop and keep dr keep drift boosting in the same direction. Most of my, uh, most of my racing time came from the PS3. Me and Road Rocket played a lot of racing games on that. And mo not, mostly not kart racers. The kart racer of choice was, uh, Mondation Racers. Which we're going to get to. We are. And we also had, uh, Sonic and Sega racing on the PS3. But we played a lot of Mod Nation, played a lot of uh, Blur, which was real cars and physics with Mario Kart power-ups. That was fun. A little bit of split second, a little bit of other things. But the big ones were uh, Mod Nation and Blur, I think. That was what I spent a lot of time on. I almost perfected Blur, I think. I mean, I did complete Mod Nation, obviously, because that's... Much lower, a much easier game in general to complete. I think, may, you know what? I might not have, uh, I might not have completed the DLC of Mod Nation. Maybe that still needs done. Maybe I can stream that. Maybe I can do single player Mod Nation. That's something to think about. Well, for me to think about, you guys will just watch or not watch. Up to you, you know. Oh. Oh, what's that up there? That doesn't look fun. I don't want to have to go up there. I'm going to have to go up there, though. No, get up. Meow yourself. This has... Holy crap, this has a lot of crates on it. All the crates. 65 crates. How is this not the gem challenge? We're getting all the crates. Or it's like a big part of it is getting all the crates anyway. It's not the only part of it. I am not... I'm not going to get all these. There's no way. There's way too many. 
And I don't know how to get up to that path up there. That, like, there's no way that's happening. Well, there's the crates on the T path here. At least I know that one. Get the right side. Oh, is it that up there? I saw an opening. I feel like that's probably gonna be it up there. Maybe I could get them all if I was really careful. That's yeah, careful. That's Zelrog. Careful. What other word could you possibly use to describe moi? But careful. Ah, I need that. Ten seconds is a big chunk to take off, so it would be a... Would be most beneficial to get them all, even if I have to slow down a little bit. Here we go. Final lap. I gotta make that, uh... I gotta make that jump up to the place to get the things... Can I do it? Oh, no. I need those, too. No! I want... I just want to get a perfect. I want to get one perfect. No, Shut up, mask! Ah! That was... More than ten seconds, and I didn't get up there. How the... F How do I get up there? There's no... I can't drift boost in such a way that I would be able to... Do I... Would I have to get, uh... Some kind of hang time boost? That would accommodate that somehow? I don't I don't know. Oh, that's that's demanding. I don't think I'm gonna make this one. I don't know. Definitely did not make it. Okay. I really wanna get them all though. I wanna I gotta find out how to get up there. Starring Tiger Waluigi. I gotta do it. I gotta... There's gotta be a way. Is it just a really perfect jump? That was not enough airtime. Is it not possible to get enough airtime to get a boost there? Because I feel like that's the only way you can make that jump. Which, I mean, it would, it would make sense if that was just like a race exclusive. You need like a boost item to get up there. But no, there are crates up there. So you have to be able to make it without items. What? Oh, wait. Maybe, oh. No? I was thinking, okay, could I do like a, like a quarter pipe thing? Like that? Oh, to get the air, enough air? Could that be it? Possible, but I don't I don't see how I'm gonna get all the crates doing that though. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can do it. Oh, there's not enough room to turn and do that though. I don't think you can go into the water and do that. No, you can't get enough... You cannot get enough airtime just jumping from the top into the water. I'm not... I'm, I'm so confused.
Maybe I just need to be a faster character. Maybe Pura just can't do it. Maybe I can maybe I can boost turbo my way up there. I mean it'd be a dick move, but maybe some characters just can't get all the crates. Cause Pura does have the Polar and Pura have, have the lowest uh have the lowest top speed stat. Do I just need to be going really fast as like tiny or something to jump up there? Okay, I get I guess I'm not getting them all. I guess I'm just going to do the best I can. That's no good. Is not uh, not conducive to coming from the left side. Solid clock stop. Oh, I didn't get any. Oh, that sucked. Somehow I threaded the needle through them. Take the left one next time. Just making mental notes to myself. That's what you gotta do if you're getting all the crates, even though I'm not getting all the crates because I can't get all the crates because I'm Pura, I think. I guess. Still don't know for sure, but... in the middle. Hey, I got both of them. Neat. I feel like that three would be wasted on the final lap because you reach the end in less than three seconds, so you don't get the full value of it. I'm really not drifting at all. This is really is just about getting the crates. It's time trial. Need up there. Need to get the thingy. I guess I could be focusing on drifting more now that all the crates are gone. Most of them. There's still there's still some scattered about here and there though, so I want to be careful. 
I don't think water is slowing me down. I think you just drive through it. Or at least it's not slowing me down significantly. Which is an odd trait of a karting game. Usually water slows you. Hey, what relic? Is it gold? Oh, no, it's still sapphire. I would have to really try with some sick drifting and getting all of the crates. Or at least most of the crates. In order to get gold or even, or platinum especially. Kira and his, uh, sexy midriff girl. Okay, so, I got four relics, four tokens. I think that's all the things in this world, in this area. Now I wonder if I have another, uh, if I have another Ripper Roo boss, if that's how that works. I feel like that's probably the case. By the way, that uh, igloo door that I didn't explore, that goes to one of the future areas. It's just a shortcut. I think it's another challenge. No? I mean, it didn't say anything special. I think there's like a, a cutscene or something that shows... I think it would show a cutscene or something, or say, hey, it did race me again to unlock me or something. Because we got all the... We got all the tokens and we got all the relics. Oh, wait. Once you've collected... I'm, I'm looking at the manual again. Once you've collected four CTR tokens of a certain color, you can race in the gem cups. Found in a locked warp room in Gemstone Valley. Uh... End of the four races, it's a Grand Prix. Earn enough points to win and be awarded a gem. Bonus rounds. Red, blue, green, yellow, and purple. Okay, so. We got different colors of gem tokens in each level. So we only get to, uh. We only get to do the gem race once we have all of the ones of a certain color. So there are two more red ones out there in some of the other worlds that I need to get. And then I can do the gem cups. During a relic race. So how do you... There's a way to unlock the, the boss characters. I just don't... I don't remember how. I'll have to figure that out, I guess. Uh, how long have I, have I been going for? Let me double check that. I'll do a little bit more. I'll do maybe one one or two. I'll do a couple more levels. Let's see how far we can get in the second area. We'll get a little preview of that. Nope, not not the ice world yet. You must have two boss keys to go back. Okay. Two boss keys. Aku Aku and his jitter shaky open mouth closed speed. It's like anime dubbing. Except it's bad anime dubbing is what it is with the there are only two positions, mouth fully closed or mouth fully open for Aku Aku. Okay, so I need five gems or ten relics for these things. You must first collect the required number of relics to race this dragon. This dragon? Oh, track. Oh, right, so those are two, those are two unlockable tracks. They're just bonus extra stuff. And I went the wrong way, as not intended around this world. There's boss. Oh, that's Oxide. This is like the main area, I guess. Oh, I can't even, uh, that looks like where the gems, gem cups would be. I can't even access that until I have at least two boss keys. Need to clear at least two areas before I can even see the pretty gems.
This is a big world, though. I think this is I think this is a bigger overworld than uh, Diddy Kong Racing had. Alright. This is one of the odd... Uh, one of the odd PS1 games where the square is the back button. Oh, Coco Park. PS1 games couldn't really agree on a consistent... Like, they agreed that X was confirm. But that's about it. Some games had circle as the back button. Some had... This one had square. Some had, A lot had triangle, I think. I think the other Crash games generally use triangle. Oh, this is this has some wide roads. And just Wumpa on the road. This is the most Mario Kart looking track in the game. And it's odd that they would all agree that X is the confirm button because by design, the PlayStation controller was a, supposed to be that uh, the idea between be, behind the, like, circle and X buttons was that circle would be a confirm button and X would be a, you know, a cancel button. And it ended up being the opposite of that. Which I feel had, had to do with, uh, the Super NES. Because X is in the same position as B is on that, and B was always the... B was usually the... Well, at least in major games, like in platformers, B was the jump button, which is usually associated with A, right? In in uh, the Super NES was weird. I'll, I'll say that. Okay, Max Wumpas. I don't think Mario Kart. When did Mario Kart start embracing the coins mechanic? I know 8 does that, but I, I don't... I don't think... I can't think of any before that that did. DS didn't and Double Dash didn't. Oh, you can blow yourself up with those? I didn't know that! No! Ugh, get out of here, Crash! I got it. Okay, Mask, God, saved me. Yeah, get a star at the, at the edge of first place. Get the, I, again, the items in this game, the balancing is much more chaotic than uh, Mario Kart, where you just get nothing in first place. Nothing but bananas. Ooh. Is he crying? I'm trying to see if the girl's names are in the are in the manual or not. I know they're on, like, the Crash Wiki. No? Guess not. I bet they're in the, the official Prima strategy guide for $14.99. I like this world map better. This is more uh, open and spacious, not just a series of cave tunnels. Tiger Temple. I'll get all the trophies here, and then I'll call it. And I'll come back for the, the tokens and the relics after, next time. Oh, hey, this is my home track. It's the Tiger Temple, I think, unless it's Tiny Tiger. There are two tigers in this game. One of which is significantly cuddlier than the other. Oh, frame rate, please. Computer, keep up. It's PS1. What are you doing?
Wow, this level is bad on the resources. It is just, it's just dying. Maybe if I get further away from the other racers. Oh, well, at least I got the Wumpa. I gotta catch up. I gotta get out of the, out of the, the corruption, the resource zone. Okay. Oh, that's Pura. That's my buddy. Well, I guess not anymore. No, no. Oh, that's a bad angle to be at too. Bandicoot power. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Oh, you like this sweet five frame a second I got going on here? That's good for streaming. Ah, tiny. You fuck. This is a battle of tigers. The cuddly one always wins. Yes! That'll do, that's what I need. Come on, frames, please! Why is this temple so warped? It's got a, it's like water damage or something. That was a very Majora's Masky halt, like twisted hallway, is what that was. Or I guess no, that was the uh, that was the Ocarina Forest Temple that did the twisted hallways. That's what that was. Now we know who is best tiger. All right, where else am I going? Oh, over here. Okay. Hello, Papu. We'll get to you. You just hang out for a bit, fat man. Oh, Papu's Pyramid! I remember this level, this track, having a lot of sheer cliffs, which are always fun in kart racers. Always fun. I don't remember what saves you. I'm gonna guess it's the mask. The woes of starting in the second line of racers. Getting second dibs at items. Oh! Oh, this is tight. This is very tight. Gotta go up the pyramid. Uh, sixth place. That's not good. That is... Oh! Piranha plants! What? That's... That's death. That's straight up death. That's not... Oh, it playfully spits you out again. My tiger got eaten. That's not... That's not Mario Kart spirit. It's okay, I can catch up. No, ooh, almost happened again. It didn't, almost did though. Who was that? Was that the polar bear? Ah, uh, oh, okay. somehow I teched that, I guess. I lost speed, so it still wasn't great. No, Pura, wrong way. I The drifting in this game is not, it doesn't hold up. It doesn't hold up, ah! Go left! You tiger fuck! You can't even hold on to your drift and use it when you want to. You have to use it when the meter goes red and not a not a second off. No, 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 no. Get damn it. 
I couldn't even use the shield, because you have to... You can't use an item while you have the TNT on you. You have to get rid of it before you can do anything. Nope. Too tight. Ah! It's okay. I got a boost. I just need to... This, you can't even drift around this pyramid. It is too square. Damn it. Okay. Come on, Pura. No! That's it. That's the race. <sighs> you know, at least in Mario Kart, they were Grand Prix and you could afford to not come in first. But I guess this is campaign mode and it's different. Okay, bye. And then he died. They had a funeral after the race. This is not a forgiving level. I don't like this level. Yeah, fuck off, Cortex. Interesting that they have a Brio item in this game, but Brio is not in the game. Not even as a boss. I think he was an iconic enough crash. He was in two games. I guess he's not. No, he's just been replaced utterly by Engine. I guess it would beg the question of uh, which side he would be on. Because characters are either aligned good or evil in this game. Like, they get the support of either Aku Aku or Uka Uka, the evil mask. So, since he's no longer working with Cortex, I guess they didn't know what to do with Embryo. That would make, that would make sense. Hey, I actually did it. I drifted. Oh, that's hard to aim when you're drifting. No, I need to get ahead of you. I need to TNT you, you engine fuck. Oh, and I hit my own thing. Oh, that's good. I can use that. I need Wumpa is what I need. I'm not getting any. There's only like one crate on the level. And I'm just not hitting it. Mostly because I'm drift- oh, another two. I, mi I missed that one as well. No. Oh, these walls are so easy to hit! Whoa! Oh, that's good. That's good. Fuck off, engine. Good new! No, I got a boost. I need that. That's a good boost to have. I better not lose it. Oh, I got this. Please. Pliss. Just let win. Pliss. Tiger, best tiger, Pura. Yes. Okay. That's done. Wow, that one took me two attempts. I'm picking my way through Mario Kart 8 single player. Just taking off uh, one pre at a time. Because Mario Kart doesn't really have campaigns. To access this boss garage, I wasn't trying to access it. I was driving like 20 feet in front of it, but thank you. Dingo, eh? Let's go have ourselves some fun in the Dingo Canyon. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is bringing back flashbacks of those awful motorcycle levels in Crash 3. Oh! Oh, this is tight. Tight levels. Tight level. Oh, no. Go away, dingo. Ow! Oh!
These AI know how to trap boost pads and things like that. Which I guess I guess shouldn't surprise me. It's a pretty basic function, but Mario Kart doesn't really do that. No, 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 no. Ah. Between uh, this and Mario Kart and Mod Nation, we still want to get around to in the near future. Maybe this will just end up being like a uh, a year of the karting games for fourth seat. Oh no! And I'm gonna have missiled. What hit me? Oh, those do home. So what's the difference between that and the ele electricity? Is it just superficial? Or does it... Oh, no, the, I'm sorry. The electricity is the blue shell. The base one just goes for the person in... F <laughs> sorry. The person in first, and the juiced up one gets everyone up until first. Or gets everyone up to and including first. Oh! This game has some good voice clips. Ah! Those armadillos are very armadillos are very hard to see. Oh what? I what did I did I jump on him? Is that a mechanic? I also wonder if the boost how the boosts stack in this game. If you can stack an item boost with a drift boost or a hang time boost. Or all three. Okay, that's all the is that all the four trophies, or do I have one more? Much tired of watching beauty thugs race so slow. Oh. Papu want in action to lay boom down big and prove Papu is world's best driver. Papu world's best, so huh? Fast, you punch tracks. I think that's the only time Papu Papu speaks. Like, proper sentences. He doesn't in Crash Bash. He doesn't in Crash 1. And I don't remember him appearing in any of the later Crash games. Now how tough is he? Probably helps not to drive off the level immediately. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess that'd be bad. This probably isn't Crash 3 where driving off the level warps you to a super secret, a special bonus level. It had to be this map. What does Papu drop? Oh, he drops beakers. As you would expect from a, a, a Mayan chief. You know, scientist beakers. That's what he do. That's just how he roll. His poor cart, by the way. This guy is massive. What happened to that big and tall that he was managing? Did that fall through? Hoi hoi! Oh, can I not fire the missiles backwards? I tried to fire it backwards. Papa? No, no! Leave! You leave! He too must focus all his efforts on making these turns, he can't drop shit here. Get fucked, fat man. No, I missed everyone. Well, maybe he is the world's best. He's sure faster than I am. As bosses tend to be, I would guess. No. He seems to have trouble with that last turn for some reason. That's a chance to uh, pass him. I wonder... Oh! I was gonna say, I wonder if this game has rubber band AI or not. Oh, now he'll drop them on the... No, he's still... He's still showing restraint. Ah! Can I... Will I be able to catch up? No! Hit the boost, man! Shit! I'm dead. I am so... Yep. 
That's gone. Maybe if I can missile him. And I got a TNT. Of course I do. How far ahead? Oh, he's not... He's still pretty far ahead, but... Nope. I'm just gonna hit that. Okay, Papu, you're the best. You win. What are your words for me? Do you have do you have a witty smack talk or do, no? I just try again. That was still closer than I'd had any right to be after I uh, went so far off road like that. Oh. gonna save these in case he catches up again which he will there he is no you get you fat bastard Ugh. okay he's TNT'd out of boo-boo he had a he had a boo-boo guys out of bada boom bada bing bada boom no He'd better not catch up to me and blow me up. Okay. If I could stay ahead of him, that'd be pretty great. That'd be pretty awesome, in fact. Do you... Oh. Do you always get TNTs in first and missiles in second? Because that sure feels like the case. No, you get boosts as well. Thankfully, he only throws them back. He doesn't seem to drop... Oh, no, the red ones he drops immediately behind him. Oh, no, he, he is boosting around these. It's precise, but it's possible. Thankfully, he likes to leave the leave the crates for me. Good guy, Papu. Hoi hoi! Ora 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 ora! Get got! Yay! He got got! Wow, he's way behind me, isn't he? Now watch him rubber band right back up to where I'm I'm at. He's laughing. Okay, I got this. Yeah. What do you got to say now, fat man? It's okay. He's not a Native American stereotype. He's like Mayan or Incan, and they're extinct. You can't be racist against them. Oh, is that what happened? You are fast for be so small. Here is key to help. Oxide much bigger problem for you. Him not as big. But he much more grumpy. That was surprisingly respectful. I guess Papu Papu wasn't such a bad guy after all. Maybe that's why we don't see... Well, no, we do see him again for Crash Bash. But that's the last I remember seeing him. I don't remember him... He, he wasn't in Wrath of Cortex... And I don't remember him being in Twin Sanity. But I can't say for sure. Anyway. What are we at? What are uh, 31%. Alright. Yeah, it would have been faster the other way. That's okay. We got a bunch of trophies done. And uh, two bosses. So, I will come back next time. Take care of the rest of this world. We'll see, like, uh, I guess we'll see the gem races. See if we can get started on any of them. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.